Hi ladies, uh, I have some project shares. Some of them are done and some of them are half finished as always. But I just wanted to come on because I'm going on a vacation for a week uh, with my whole uh, in-law family. So yeah, um, I made this uh, notebook uh, where I did a pocket with a, a doily, paper doily and have a I don't know what they are called in things. It's Glens Um um yeah. It's like these uh you collected them as charts and yeah. And then a die cut from uh, Karen. This is also a die cut from Karen, I think. I have these blanks I've put on and then I have two tags that I have distressed on each side and then a couple of bling and this paper line is from a um, uh, from what is it called um, a um, uh, yeah a store where we buy grocery grocery store I think yeah well enough about that it's just a um, normal um, notebook so yeah that's it i'm sorry about my nails but i did play with my uh, four year old or five year old she is now uh, and um, yeah i don't like to have nail polish on and i don't have the remover right now uh, yeah so i'm sorry <laughs> um i am right now thinking of a kite I want to do a kite. I want to do a lace kite. And what I wanted to show you, I asked um, oh, the f uh, the two people who I am uh, subscribed to, who is uh, a design team member of uh, Casey Creates, I think it is. Uh, she, they. Uh, I asked them if they want to do a lace kite because I think it could be fun for uh, uh, the fall uh, but I haven't seen much pictures on Pinterest or I try to Google and I try to YouTube but I haven't found anything that is with laces and playing and shabby I tried to google uh, shabby kites or lace kites and nothing is coming up also on, on Pinterest and uh, so I hope uh, that some of you will try to make them and uh, will inspire me to, to make some myself but these are actually um, barbecue sticks uh, I cut um, as you can see, I just the long one. I just cut the uh, pointy thing off, and the other one is like two two parts. Yeah, if you divide it into three parts, I would take two of them, and that will make the cross. Uh, how I I tied it up was with uh, some thread, thick thread. So that is what I'm. I want to do. Uh, I I told you in my whole video on the doily that you could make a kite, and I tried it, and it is. It's really on a beginner state. Um, I had some of the cross stitching thread from Nola and this is some fibers also from Nola um, then there's some of her sari uh, silk um, that I cut up and make into these bows and then there's the doily I took two pieces this is actually only sewn on uh, and then I have uh, stitched uh, some flowers uh, with bling and some of my new lace from the hall. Uh, but it should be an embellishment that could like 
sit in the window or something for a decoration here for the fall, but it doesn't really work for me. I I I don't know what is missing and I don't think it's shabby and beautiful. I think it's childish uh, in a way and uh, I need some help. Please, please, please. If any of you will try it, please um, write to me in the comments. So, yeah. Okay, finished products. Uh, projects. I have this, uh, actually it's a, I try to show you um, in some earlier videos, but this is uh, my my own uh, little, um, where you can put jewelry on and so on. And I have tons of these uh, tubes where I have beads and uh, sequence and so on and I try to take out the ones that inspire me and so I decorated them with some lace oh here you are some lace here and some uh, trim uh, sh uh, pieces these ones I got from Avil uh, Popsy's ribbon laces I think it was um, it's just Avil you know and then uh, some chain I had you know uh, the pearl chain uh, in silver some um, yeah it's actually from a trim these ones and then a, a, a ribbon and a heart that I cut up um, but it's not all of them that's decorated. This one has, for example, a a pearl trim, and I just sit and play with them. So yeah, and this one hasn't any decorations on it yet, but they will be, uh, and maybe not. I'm not sure. It's not that important because now I can see what's inside. So yeah, and then some of my crocheted uh, flowers I try to make a decoration. You can see on the back how the metal is, and yeah, it works for me. So yeah. Then I uh, played with this making a bag. This one is not attached yet. So I took out one of my uh, bed rollers with the fabric and uh, I took some that match the colors and uh, I try this one is actually a Donna Karen uh, I think it's a fake I bought it in a second hand for 20 Danish kroners or something like that that is around three three dollars or something like that so it's definitely a fake um, but as you can see, I stitched it with a black thread, so I will do something here, um, so I can cover it up. On the other side, it's still like it's three um, pieces of um, uh, scarves, uh, and it's just loosely uh, sewn on by hand. Uh, like here, I just do this yeah and then I have some ends of them and make it dangle like this I will decorate it more with pearls and such I was just thinking I had this tea dyed um, applique and put that on top so yeah I need to make a then I made this one. Uh, I showed this in my earlier uh, from uh, Nola uh, skit, and that is the one with the puppet. Uh, so I've sewn it into a little clutch or a uh, yeah something. I did make a um, flower with some of. Uh, uh, the fabric in the peach and I took some of my uh, pearls from the last haul I made. I did some eyelash and some fibers. I put the 
a square doily I got from Nola on the back. I have not stitched this one on yet, so that's why there's a needle. But I got out my uh, Mother of Pearls um, and I had this applique and I think the appliques are very uh, dull and um, I did, it was actually a shirt where there's a lot of these appliques and I have a lot of them and I, they are kind of cheap in, in the look so I knew I needed to decorate it in some way so I took some of my orange peach colors uh, some of the white uh, pearls and some of the black and on the video I can see there's not it should have been flowers but I'm not sure you can see that on the video but it looks amazing and the one that is getting this can if they like it just as an applique or something they can always cut it off actually it, it because <laughs> it was like I did the cover first and then this looks nice but when you open it it just pulls out all of this it's so nice I like to <laughs> touch pearls it, it's I don't know what it is but I like to make uh, blink centers uh, for the for this one yeah um, yes and I'm not gonna do anything with the leaves so yeah, this one is very nice uh, and very heavy. Um, but that is nearly there. And I need to think of a closure and I need to stitch on the last uh, leaf. Then I have one of the tags from the, from the leftover fabric from NOLA. Um, and I actually just put some appliques I got and one uh, bling center and some sequins with pearls I have to think of where the camera is so this is how it ended up I'm not sure how to use these um, so yeah I'm not sure yet um, so that is done for a tag but it's a pretty big tag these ones is not washed and ironed, so now they are pressed in, in the, in the way I want them. So I need to figure out how to stitch them, and it shouldn't be looking bad. And how to decorate them, I'm not quite sure yet. So yeah, so they are ready to be worked with. I also washed uh, this dainty little trim I got last time. Uh, and what it did, it curled, curled up, and I need to iron. I needed to iron it, and it's actually uh, fine again. So I was so worried. <laughs> then I have my lace book, and I'm working on. I'm still working on it. I've had this applique where I put some flat back pearls and some bling on uh, that is going on the back on the front that is going this one it's still pinned on because I'm not sure how to decorate them yet this image is from uh, Jane then I wanted to show you because I'm gonna do the first page this is gonna be difficult I'll try to lower this one a little bit so I took out all of my um, uh, ooh -la -la, uh things so I took out those and I made this one so I have some had some leftover beautiful fabric from uh, Doreen and I had some cheesecloth and I decided to glue it so this page is glued and I'm gonna do this as a friendship book uh, where I'm actually gonna glue everything <laughs> because it's gonna take forever if I have to sew it so and I still need to make some bling in them this one is from myself uh, from my own stash this one is from uh, my own stash and this world rose is from uh, Nola's kit 
Um, so, yeah, it's going to be like this. And then there was this, uh, this, I'm going to take this out so you can see something. This one is from Doreen, uh, from Oolala. Can you see this? They're so beautiful. The, I don't know. And then there was this Bengal one. This is also from her. So this is going to be my Oolala page. And then I'm not sure I've made more yet. I have, I have worked a little. Yeah. So this page is actually uh, from my oh uh, on stitch down this one is is pieces I have from um <sighs> do you know it when when the person's name is just on the top of your uh, tongue it's from Diana Bacchus sorry Diana um so I have this these trims are from her the applique is from a bridal applique and these flowers is also from her this trim is from her this teeny tiny applique is also from her I think I will decorate a little bit more with her um items um so I haven't decided uh what to do next but I found some more uh, beautiful um, appliques, bridal appliques from her, and I thought they matched the color of, of this um, image very, very well. I did do a um, oopsie, <laughs> I think I would call it uh, a bomb, <laughs> bomber. <laughs> uh, I uh, transferred the image uh, the other way. Uh, so it's actually wrong uh, when I transferred it. So I had to cover this one and you can see the clock is the wrong way. Uh, it should be opposite. So yeah. So decorate it and it will be nice anyway. So that's how far I am with my book right now. I still... Yeah. So that is done. Then I have my grey box with my paper flowers. I wanted to make it a little bit more shabby, so I have this beautiful, I love this um, fabric. This is from Nola. The side here is from my own stash. This is also one of my own. Uh, and the curtain I got from, from my um, in-law. Uh, and uh, this trim is something I bought on eBay, I think. So how will I decorate this? I have no idea because right now I'm storing uh, boxes on top of each other. But I like to do some flowers here and I will definitely look at the, the flowers I received from um, that I won in Build Your Own Flower Stash and I will do something like that. So, yeah, um, so that is almost done. Um, what do I have here? I wanted to find something special. I did a shabby flower with my new uh, beautiful baby blue. Uh, oh, sorry. Hold. Turn it off. Uh, baby blue um, trim. Uh, lace, eyelid lace. Yeah. And some mother of pearl uh, button, and oh, you can really, can you see it here? Yeah, there's a uh, doily uh, in the bag. I think that is Oolala. And then I had some lace from a scarf I cut out. Yeah, and then some uh, fibers and eyelid trim and such. Finally, I'm using my eyelid trim. Let me see it like this, yeah. 
I still haven't done anything with the tag and there is nothing new here. Yeah. Yes. But then I have taken I have this bag. Uh, this big bag. And uh, I go through them uh, once in a while. And uh, sometimes I have unfinished product uh, projects here. Products. Projects. So I did take out some bags that I wanted to work with. So I have this nice one. Silky satin one. And I have this doily where I cut the centerpiece. And then I was thinking making something like this. Uh, and of course I need to cut it in the sides here and glue them down. I am not going to stitch it. I think. I'm not sure. But probably not going to stitch it. So, yeah. And then I have put some... I think it's so nice inside. It's like this. It's not a purple and it's not a grey, but it's something in between. It's just so nice. And then I have this uh, white and gold uh, Chinese tr trim, I think. So, yeah. That's exciting. So, this one is a working stage. And I have this one. I've just uh, stitched this one on. Uh, it's from an apron I bought in a second hand shop. Then there's this bag. It's just a small little grey bag. Um, I have this one from a shirt I think. So I was thinking making something like this. So this is like dangle for me. And then I have this trim from uh, I bought this this is actually pink. I bought this trim from hmm, Annie Miss Garden Grill. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and I also have this trim, but I don't think these two kind of trims match each other because this one is very, it looks old and it's very soft and it's very nice. Uh, this one is like really girly and it's bling and it's sequins and it's just bang. And this one is like this antique looking. So. I don't want to mix these two, but I haven't decided which way to go right now. It depends on what I have for the handle. So I need to have some time where I can look through all my little trims and laces. Yeah, so that is the working stage. Then I had this, oh, my first snippet wall hanging. I made maybe, did I do it over a year ago? This was my, I did a uh, swap with Jane March where we needed to make a uh, wall hanging and I was sitting with my daughter and taking all my snippets out um, and thinking how can I make a wall hanging. So this I made for a wall hanging and it's definitely not Jane's style and it's definitely not my own style but I think it was fun. I was sitting and making it with my daughter, so it was fun, but it's not my style. But as the year went by and I watch more and more of you making snippets and stuff, and I can see things that I'm taking out again that I have been working with snippets. I just didn't know that I have, and I didn't know how to when I needed to. Yeah, so uh, I took this out because I think maybe I could cut it here and here and stuff and it can't go through my sewing machine. I have tried it and it, that didn't work. <laughs> so I wanted to uh, stitch it before I cut it because I was afraid it will fray a lot. So 
and it is glued together all of it so as I have talked about before I took some fabric out and made some uh, bags and uh, this uh, fits perfectly I only stitched this by hand uh, roughly and I will of course decorate it uh, all the way but now it is actually a bag and now I, I actually like it <laughs> um, so so this is gonna be the back and this is gonna be the front and uh, there will be two pockets inside and because the wall hanging was too thin for wall hanging but too uh, and still thick enough so it will make a beautiful closure on this one so that was a success I was so um, happy when I saw it but <laughs> this is alive uh, it is really sorry for, for the noise but I just wanted to show you one more thing before I put this back so as I said when I got Nola's package her shabby um, shabby chic uh, kit fabric kit uh, she had this doily um, I don't know if you can see this but it has like all these swirls and everything and I told you I would uh, sew it and I actually did it the same evening um, so half of it is beaded now and very very beautiful with um, with glass beads uh, I did it the same day I, I received the package because I got so inspired and think I can do this so I did it uh, and it didn't took so long so yeah but it looks nice right now I don't know what to use it for but it probably end up like this and suddenly be used in, in a couple of uh, weeks or so yeah then I have one thing left and that is uh, I got all of the I can see I made a mistake on my uh, uh, project that I'm working on uh, videos I have the first and the second is the same and I'm really sorry about that I don't know what happened and I can't find the second one so I need to like uh, remove I need to make it over and I need some time to sit at my husband's computer and, and do it over yeah, but I want to show you all the cards I have been making. Uh, I did a mistake, uh, like I got this material that is like a um, oh, glassine bag or something like that. But uh, uh, nice paper. Um, but I did use some double sided tape and uh, I can see through it. Uh, and that wasn't the point. So now I'm decorating the the cards a little bit more with some pearl uh, strings around uh, the places. So I hope you can see them. I try to make them a little bit antique looking. All the images is from um, Karen uh, Phillips, uh, who has the uh, Facebook page. Um, Shabby chic dreams do come true and right now she has a lot of beautiful images uh, that she has uh, put together um, and on this one I got uh, the flowers from my shop with um, oh Laura Laura Taylor she's also a member of that group we did a swap uh, through uh, the Facebook group so yeah and then I have like this one. 
they are kind of simple, but still they are very shabby and no, not shabby, antique looking, I think. Uh, and then uh, some bling, so it gets shabby. So what I did was I took some cardboard, I I bent it it in half. I took some of this uh, paper where you can see through it, and there's some silver uh, decorations on it. I just cut it a little bit uh, smaller. I didn't measure anything. I just took out my um, oh, scoreboard. Yeah. And then this paper I actually just pushed down so I broke the, the paper. Um, and then I took some book paper. Uh, I took one sheet and I just tear it so it match in, in the size and I throw everything else away. I don't want storage of bits and pieces of snippets of paper because I don't use that much paper. So if anyone wants my snippets of paper, I will gladly um, put it aside in a box if, if anyone wants it. But I don't save them. I, I cut it off and I throw them out. So, yeah. Um, because I only use paper for uh, these kind of things or for boxes. And, and that's it for now. So, yeah. Uh, then I had some curtain lace and I had the image. So I distressed uh, the edges of the book paper. And the images. All the images I have uh, put on cereal boxes and, and I sat and glued all of the images on one box. And then I cut them out. And then afterwards I am distressing the edges and then I ink them and then they are ready. They are laying in a pile and then I can work with them. And I was thinking, I was using these uh, cards for uh, my um, flower stash projects. So I did finish off all my, um, all of the banners. And what I did is I put, like this one, this flower is made by Belinda Coombs. So I pinned on these um, this is actually just a cardboard in in white that I distressed and I stamped a flower on it and then I pinned it on and put an applique with it so that is going out like this and I'm not gonna do more with the flowers and bags and everything because they are under a hundred grams so I can send it out for is it four dollars I think a little bit more than four dollars each bag so I need to find some envelopes and uh, so I put this and this together and write inside and thank you and um, everything and they are going out the only ones that isn't going out is lazy and uh, she won't you still have them uh, for next month or, or so she won't I'm doing a swap with you so I am gonna save yours for an hour swap and send it together with that lazy I have a happy meal uh, in progress for you and they are probably getting to you before Christmas. I have no idea when. Uh, but I'm uh, doing a box for you. So uh, the flowers is going in, in that box. But everyone else is going out hopefully this month. And uh, I still need to get some addresses on some of you. Um, but I'm gonna work on that uh, the next week when I have some time. Um, as you know, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I had said it, but I'm going on vacation next week. So I will get the addresses and I will send out afterwards. I will... Um, I need to find some envelopes. <laughs> uh, I will 
hopefully somebody will begin to make kites in the places so I hope when I come back I will be inspired to how to make them uh, and then on my vacation I need to knit a swap for uh, for Ethel Ethel uh, I'm doing a swap with Ethel a Christmas swap uh, and I need to start knitting something. I'm not gonna work more with my teeny tiny flowers right now because I uh, I need a break of of crocheting. I think it's uh, when you do it a lot, it's getting boring. And let me play with some papers or some fabric for a moment. I will do some bags and stuff uh, instead. Uh, I still need to prepare my um, fall uh, series. I am working on it, as I said, and I will take some books with me on my vacation and uh, prepare uh, for some videos. Yeah, so that is uh, how far I am right now, but I'm almost done with my projects. I have the bags I know. Uh, and I'm still working on my lace book, but my lace book is probably gonna be for a year or so. So, yes. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to show you that I actually do finish some pro uh, pro um, projects. Uh, and, um, yeah, I have tried to sell this on a Danish site, on a Danish Facebook. And I took the price of uh, 25 Danish kroners that is mm, around three dollars and uh, it didn't work <laughs> so I'm gonna gift it away uh, again um, if anyone really really likes it uh, this is like turquoise uh, with some beautiful uh, um, roses uh, Please say so. I think there's a long time to until my daughter is getting ready to uh, go to school, so uh, um, she won't be riding in it, and it's just gonna lay there. And uh, I have a lot of notebooks in uh, right now. So if anyone wants it, please write in the comments. I like it. Please send it to me, and I will. Um, put a uh, link to my um, email uh, yeah I will write my email in the comments and you can write to me there yes thank you so much uh, for watching and uh, have a great week bye